Hey there, it's Chris Leverdine, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this triangular granny square styled pattern. And this is a beginner friendly tutorial, so it is going to be rather slow and repetitive. Uh, so just a warning, but also good news. I will have a pattern for this on my blog as well for those who prefer patterns as opposed to video tutorials or like having them both. So that will be linked in the description box below as well as a crocheting for beginners video if you are a complete beginner. Feel free to watch that first, practice for a bit, and then come back to this video. Alrighty then, let's get started. For this project, I am using size 4 yarn from the brand Impeccable as well as a size 5mm hook. However, you can choose whichever size yarn or hook that you like and this pattern will still work for you. So the first thing that I'm going to do is grab the end of my yarn and create a slip knot. I like creating slip knots by wrapping the yarn around my finger and then pulling the yarn through the loop and creating a slip knot. However, you can also make a slip knot by wrapping the yarn around your hook and then chaining. And there you go, you have a slip knot and I guess your first chain, which is pretty cool. But for some reason, I prefer making it this way. But you can choose whichever way that you like as long as the end result is a slip knot with your hook through it, ready to crochet the entire project. Okay, so. After you have created your slip knot, you're going to chain three, pretty easy. And then you're going to go into the very first chain that you just created. So put your hook through there. Then you're going to slip stitch through that. So yarn over through the chain you just went through and then through the loop that was already on your hook. And now all three of the chains are attached and they created this little circle. And from there, you're going to chain three again. And then you're going to create a, what I call a triple crochet, but many people have told me that it's actually called an extended double crochet. So what you're going to do is yarn over, go through the middle of that circle that you just made and then yarn over again, go through the stitch, yarn over one more time, go through the very first loop, yarn over, go through the two loops, and then yarn over, go through the last two loops. And I know that was a little fast, but this is a very beginner friendly tutorial, so I'm going to repeat it tons of times, so don't worry about it. Okay, so. After you've created one triple crochet, I'm just going to continue calling them triple crochets because it's easier to say. Um, then you're going to create another triple crochet inside of the same stitch in the middle. And I already missed my chance to explain what a triple crochet is. Shoot, but that's okay because you're actually going to have to make another one. So yarn over through the stitch, yarn over back through the stitch. And then you yarn over again, you're left with three loops on your hook, so you're only going to go through one at first. Then you're going to yarn over again, go through two. Then you're going to yarn over one last time and go through the last two loops. And that is what I call a triple crochet, although it's probably called an extended double crochet. And after that, you're left with three triple crochets inside of the same exact stitch, which should be the middle of the circle that you created. So this is what I'm going to call a cluster, a triple crochet cluster. So after you've created your triple crochet cluster, you're going to chain three, then go into the same exact stitch in the middle of the circle and create another triple crochet cluster. So you're going to yarn over, go through the stitch, yarn over, back through the stitch, yarn over through one loop, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through the last two loops, and you're going to do that three times. So this is going to be my second triple crochet, and then this is going to be my third triple crochet through two loops and through the last two loops. And my project looks like this so far with two triple crochet clusters and three chains in between them. 
and then the next step is to again chain three from here chain three one two three and then you're going to create yet another cluster of triple crochets so this is my first one one and then back through the same exact stitch that we've been working through two and then one last time into that stitch and three triple crochets wonderful so this is what my project looks like so far then I'm going to chain three and then slip stitch into the very first cluster that I made right at the end or at the edge rather and this is what your first row looks like a little bit triangular but still pretty round but don't worry after this row it looks way more triangular and yeah just trust me so from there you're going to chain three and then create yet another cluster of triple crochets it's a lot of chaining and triple crochets it's actually 100% chaining and triple crochets with a little sprinkle of slip stitching <laughs> okay so you're going to create your cluster of triple crochet from that point and then you're going to chain two reach on over to the next opening here and then you're going to go into it and create four triple crochets now so from now on you're going to be making four triple crochets every time you go into one of these openings so it's going to be a cluster of four triple crochets so this is my fourth triple crochet and after I've completed that this is what the project looks like so far and then I'm going to chain four now three and four which will look something like this and then you're going to create another cluster of triple crochets inside of the same exact opening and that is going to help the project not uh, curl in you need to make sure that you make these two clusters inside of each of the corner pieces of the project and because this row is nothing but corners and it's going to be nothing but this but in the next row is going to be a little bit different so after you've created your two clusters of triple crochet with four chains in between them then you're going to chain two then reach over to the next opening which is this other corner right here and you're going to do the exact same thing you're going to create four triple crochets right next to one another inside of the same opening so this is my third triple crochet here and my fourth triple crochet and after i'm done with that i am going to chain four this is what it looks like so far so chain four one two three and four and then I'm going to create another cluster right in the same opening. So my first triple crochet followed by my second. And then my third. And then my fourth and final one for this corner fantastic so this is what the project should look like so far see already way more triangular than the first row then you're going to chain two reach over to the corner right here and then you're actually only going to create one cluster of four triple crochets because the very first cluster that you made in the second row here is actually going to serve as the other half of the corner uh, section if that makes sense it does make sense but i probably just didn't explain it as well as i should but you'll see right now so you're just going to chain four 
and then slip stitch into this cluster that again was the first cluster that you made in the row and that completes the second row so this is what the project looks like so far and now on to row number three you're going to chain three then you're going to go into the nearest opening if you missed that I kind of went backwards so I can go into this opening right here and if you need to rewind it really quick and see what I did then that will probably be really helpful you do not want to create your first cluster on top of the previous rows cluster you want to go into that opening right here which means you kind of have to go backwards for your first stitch but then you just create the cluster like normal so yeah after you've created that first cluster of four triple crochets you're going to chain two and then go into the next opening which is actually not a corner opening it's going to be right in the middle of the row so for that you're just going to make a cluster of four triple crochets and that's it so this is my fourth triple crochet and after I am done with that all I'm going to do is chain two and reach over to the corner opening as we did in the previous row for the corner openings we're going to create one cluster of four triple crochets with four chains in between and then another cluster of four triple crochets inside of the same opening so right here I'm just finishing up my first cluster for this corner here and then I'm going to chain four two three and four and then I'm going to create my second half of this corner piece by making another cluster right in the same opening so this is my second triple crochet working on my third and now my fourth and last triple crochet for this corner opening so this is what the corner opening should look like it should have one cluster with four chains in between and then another cluster inside of the same opening and after you've completed that then you're going to chain it two and go into the next opening which is right in the middle of the row it is not a corner opening which means that you're only going to create one cluster of four triple crochets so this is my fourth triple crochet right here and then once I've completed that I'm going to chain two reach over to the next opening which happens to be a corner opening so for the corner opening I'm going to create my first cluster of triple crochets so this is my second one this is my third triple crochet and this is my fourth and last triple crochet then I'm going to chain four one two three four and then I'm going to create another cluster of triple crochets within that same corner opening so that's my first one working on my second one just started my third one and now finishing up with the last triple crochet for this cluster and that's what the corner piece should look like and that's what the whole project looks like so far so now you're going to chain two one two reach on over to the next opening which is not a corner opening so it's only going to be one cluster made up of four triple crochets so that's my second one working on my third one and finishing up with my fourth triple crochet for the cluster then I'm going to chain two from there and reach on over to the corner opening but since this is the last corner of the row you're only going to make one cluster of triple crochets and then you're going to chain four and attach it to the other half and the other half you already made it because it was the very first cluster that you made for the row 
So all you have to do is slip stitch into it, and boom, you've created that corner. And this is what the project looks like so far, very triangular and nice. And this is actually where I'm going to start finishing it off. However, you can just keep going and make a giant triangle. All you have to do is follow the same exact pattern, which is every time that you reach the middle openings, you're only going to make one cluster of four triple crochets. But every time you reach the corner opening, you're going to make the two clusters with the four chains in between. Then you're going to chain two, and then within the um, middle openings, you're only going to make one cluster. And every time you uh, reach the corner opening, then you're going to make two clusters, and so on and so forth, until you have made your uh, giant triangle, however big you want, however many rows that you would like. But because I'm already losing my voice in this video, I'm just going to end right here and show you how to add the final detail, which is the scallops. So I'm going to chain three like I normally would at the beginning of every row. And then I'm going to make a cluster of four triple crochets, which you may wonder, how is that going to look like a scallop then? Well, just trust me, it certainly will. Because we're going to do a very small thing that makes a rather big difference. So I'm finishing up my cluster of four triple crochets. And then what I'm going to do is actually slip stitch into the middle of the cluster in the previous row. And what that's going to do is that's going to stretch out what I just created and make it look way more scallopy. Now I'm going to reach into the next opening, which is just a middle of the row opening. And I'm going to make four triple crochets here as well. And you may think, well, that's just repeating what you normally do with the clusters. Well, no, because we're going to slip stitch into the previous row's cluster and that's going to stretch out what I just created and make it look more like a scallop. See? It totally looks different than the clusters we were making. So from here, I'm going to reach on over to the next opening, which is again not a corner opening. And I'm just going to crochet four triple crochets within the same opening. And after I do that, then I have created yet another scallop. And this is what the project looks like so far. So now I am going to approach a corner opening. But for the corner openings, it is a little bit different. So once you slip stitch into the previous row's um, cluster, you're going to reach on over to the corner opening and you're going to crochet eight triple crochets in the corner opening because you want the corners to be slightly bigger than the rest of the project. That's why you would make the two clusters inside of each corner opening. And when you're making scallops, you want to make double the amount of um, triple crochets, that way the corner will always be longer than the rest of the project. That way it can maintain the points. So once you've created the giant scallop for the corner opening, then you're going to slip stitch into the previous rows cluster, and then you're going to create another scallop inside of the next opening. And once you've uh, created all four triple crochets inside of that opening, you're going to slip stitch into the previous rows cluster and you've created yet another scallop. Then of course you're going to reach on over to the next opening and create another four triple crochets. This is my second one and then this is my third one. This is my fourth one. And I'm done with that scallop. Now I need to slip stitch into the previous row's um, cluster and finish it up. 
Now on to the next opening, which is yet another um, corner opening. So for this one, I'm going to create eight triple crochets inside of this one opening. And that's going to maintain the various points of this project and make it look more triangular than round. So I believe this is my fourth or fifth one which is creating eight triple crochets in total. Don't know what number I am on right here. I think this might be my last one. Okay, yes. Eight triple crochets inside of every corner stitch. And then you're going to slip stitch into the previous rows cluster. And then you're going to reach on over to the next opening in which you're going to crochet four triple crochets and that was three I believe and then one more perfect created yet another scallop and then I'm going to slip stitch into the previous rows cluster and then I'm going to reach on over to the next opening and create four triple crochets two three and four to create another scallop and then I'm going to slip stitch into the previous rows cluster and then go into the last corner opening and this is going to be the other half of the very first uh, cluster you made for the row which was made up of four. So you're only going to crochet four this time. And once you've created your fourth triple crochet, you're just going to slip stitch into the first cluster that you made for the row and you've completed the project. Woohoo! I think that this pattern came out really pretty and I'm quite proud of it. And you can go ahead and use it for blankets or scarves or any other project but you know me if you actually know me and have been subscribed to me i am definitely going to include this into my next crochet top tutorial so stay tuned for that i'm actually pretty excited over it so um that should be out shortly and once it is i will link the video in the description box below for you to watch and enjoy so thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, found it interesting, entertaining, or helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and also click that red subscribe button if you have not already so I can see you next time. Bye!